The Sam Altman and OpenAI drama has kept Silicon Valley and the global tech industry on their toes since their public fallout last weekend. The almost daily twists and turns could put a Netflix drama to shame. From being fired from a company he co-founded, to joining Microsoft, triggering a suspected mass resignation wave and then finally rejoining OpenAI which sacked him. The last few days have been a roller coaster ride for Altman and OpenAI. Sam Altman. One of the most influential figures in the fast-growing generative artificial intelligence or AI space was fired from his position as the CEO of leading artificial intelligence firm OpenAI on November 17 and is now being reinstated in the company in a stunning reversal. In a post on X on November 22, OpenAI wrote, We have reached an agreement in principle for Sam Altman to return to OpenAI as CEO with a new initial board of Brett Taylor, Chair, Larry Summers, and Adam D'Angelo. We are collaborating to figure out the details. Thank you so much for your patience through this. Soon after, Altman posted on X, saying, I love OpenAI, and everything I've done over the past few days has been in service of keeping this team and its mission together. When I decided to join Microsoft on Sunday evening, it was clear that was the best path for me and the team. With the new board and with Satya's support, I'm looking forward to returning to OpenAI and building on our strong partnership with Microsoft. The sudden ouster and reinstatement of Altman by the board members of the firm led some tech observers to openly compare it to when Steve Jobs was forced out of Apple in 1985 before his reinstatement in 1997. Just like Jobs' ouster from a company he once co-founded, the true reason behind Altman's sacking still remains a mystery except the board's statement saying it had lost confidence in him. On November 18, OpenAI announced leadership transition with the departure of Altman. The move was so surprising and significant that it caused an immediate stir in the world of AI and among the investors who back it. In a letter, the company's board accused him of not being consistently candid in his communications with the board, hindering its ability to exercise its responsibilities. The board, however, did not specify what he is alleged to have not been candid about. But whatever the board was so alarmed about has perhaps been overtaken by the global reaction to its decision as it decided to reinstate Altman and even overhaul the board. A day later, Altman posted a picture on X, formerly known as Twitter, holding a guest ID pass and wrote, first and last time I ever wear one of these. Two days after his sacking, reports suggested that Altman is set to return as the boss. Later, a report by the New York Times, which cited a memo issued by the OpenAI board to employees on the night of November 19, stated that Altman would not be returning to his job and Emmett Shear, the co-founder of video streaming site Twitch would replace Mira Marathi, who was appointed as interim chief executive of OpenAI after Altman's sacking. On November 20, Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella announced that his company is hiring Altman and Greg Brockman, the former OpenAI president, to lead a new advanced AI research team. Soon after Nadella's announcement, Several OpenAI employees took to X with a post saying OpenAI is nothing without its people including Mira Marathi, to which Altman responded with a heart emoji, leading observers to see it as a sign of what's coming for OpenAI. Mass resignations. His ousting sparked an outpouring of support from Silicon Valley bosses, including former Google chief executive Eric Schmidt who called Altman a hero and said that he had changed our collective world forever. Set up as a not-for-profit in 2015, a restructuring of the firm in 2019 opened the door to billions of dollars in investment from Microsoft and gave a handful of people with no financial stake in the company the power to upend the project on a whim. Under Altman's leadership, 
OpenAI has become synonymous with artificial intelligence. The company helped set off a frenzy in the tech world after it released ChatGPT last year, with industry giants like Apple, Google and Meta hurriedly beginning to develop their own artificial intelligence technology. Reports suggested that Altman's sacking had worried current and former employees that it might affect an upcoming $86 billion share sale. The firm's venture capitalist backers and the tech giant Microsoft, which has a $10 billion stake in OpenAI, had also called for his return, according to the Financial Times, before announcing his hiring. There may also have been fears of Altman setting up a rival company and taking OpenAI's top talent with him if he isn't reinstated as CEO. As per a report by The Guardian, Altman was telling investors he planned to launch a new company before his shock departure. The new company was described as still in development on November 18 and many more employees could have exited OpenAI to join the new venture, as per The Guardian. Earlier negotiations on Altman's return to the company had stalled over the makeup of the firm's board of directors, according to the New York Times report citing two people familiar with the matter. So, the first order of business post Altman's return would be a change in the board which has already been announced by OpenAI. Earlier, Dan Ives from investment firm Wedbush Securities had told BBC News that the board clearly overplayed their hands. I would almost call it a coup attempt in terms of trying to get Altman out. But this is going to backfire. I would expect the board to be out in the next 24 hours and Altman to be back. He is the golden child of AI. That continues to be what Microsoft and other investors are focused on. The 38-year-old techie has been the face of OpenAI's rise and more than that, Altman is seen by many as the face of the industry which is battling internal divisions over AI safety. Earlier, Altman testified before a U.S. congressional hearing to discuss the opportunities and risks created by the new technology and also appeared at the world's first AI safety summit in the U.K. at the beginning of November. But he simultaneously pushed OpenAI to develop more powerful models and launch new tools, such as an app store for users to build their own chatbots and AI safety may take a back seat.